Good afternoon. My name is Lee Ivan. I'm a certified business coach with Action Coach Campus. We joined the chamber back in March, and Michelle Redlinger and I were talking a little bit about something we could do exclusively for chamber members, and that's when Michelle came up with idea, this idea of a lunch and learn. So we decided let's do a learning program over the lunch hour on the first Tuesday of every month. And so this month in July is our first lunch and learn, and I'm glad you could join us today. Going forward, we're going to have these lunch and learns always in the chamber boardroom, and you are more than welcome to come on down at uh, noon or come a little earlier at 11.30 and, and meet the uh, Action Coach Campus staff. Uh, right now it's two of us. I'm the certified business coach and Bear Swenning is our marketing director and he's here helping me out. And what we're going to do is um, put these on and, and I think the chamber is gonna provide a lunch or we're gonna provide a lunch, someone's gonna provide a lunch, but come on down. So the next one will be in August on that first Tuesday. So today's topic, you may have seen it uh, when Michelle sent out the email. Our topic is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so you can see that. It's uh, Lunch and Learn, and we're going to talk about those six essential steps to a successful business. In other words, back to basics as we begin to emerge from COVID-19. Not out of the woods yet, but it's been a really good time for business owners to reestablish their reason for being in business to begin with, how to pivot to stay in business, um, and more importantly, to stay profitable. And then also, where, where do they want to go going forward? Um, so we're going to talk about those six steps just a little bit. Let me give you a quick brief background about what who I am, what I do. As I mentioned, I'm your uh, certified business coach with Action Coach Campus. Uh, prior to doing that, my wife and I owned a dental practice up in Coralville. We owned that practice for 20 years. And this is really where the importance of business coaching uh, became cemented in my mind anyway, because I was the person that was able to work on the business as the business manager, and not so much in the business every single day. The, the opportunity that that afforded uh, me was I was also able to get involved in other clubs and organizations. And as one thing led to another, um, I served as board chairman and then later as president and CEO of a multi-million dollar nonprofit. All this while I was also still the business manager for our dental practice. My background is uh, extensive in administration, leadership, uh, nonprofits, um, board development, education, marketing, uh, leading nonprofit boards. Um, so I, I really, really wanted to do something in that regard when we sold our practice back in 2018. So Polly and I, we've been married for 35 years. We dated before that for seven years. We're high school sweethearts. We're still high school sweethearts. We have four children and we have five grandchildren. There's our, our whole clan right there, our whole group. Um, I guess the buzzword now is tribe. So there we are, there's uh, all of us together, uh, which, is, which is rare actually, because my daughter and her husband live over in England. She teaches um, college courses uh, in theater history over at the University of Plymouth. Uh, my wife is also an educator now. She uh, has gone to work for the University of Iowa in the, in the dental department, the pedo dental department full time. Uh, my other son, holding the two boys there, uh, he is also a coach. He's a coach for UIHC. And then the other two, uh, I've got one who uh, lives up in Cedar Falls. Uh, he's 21, and our youngest is 19. And he is uh, going to be starting his second year at the University of Iowa. So let me tell you a little bit about um, Action Coach. When we sold our practice, I knew that I wanted to be a business coach and help others uh, get over those hurdles that we all experience as we own our businesses, the things that wake us up at three o'clock in the morning, uh, sometimes in a cold sweat. And oftentimes I wished I would have had an accountability partner to just help us out, just answer some questions. Someone I could pick up the phone and call and say, hey, should I turn left? Should I turn right? What do you think? And when we sold our practice in 2018, 
I knew that um, I had a lot of skills in running a successful business. I also made plenty of mistakes in running our business. I, I choose to look at that as falling forward. Sometimes it didn't feel that way, but we choose to fall forward, right? We learn, we, we have many learnings throughout each day, right? And so I wanted to partner with a business coaching company and I did my research and discovered Action Coach. Uh, Action Coach was started back in 1993 and it is the world's number one business coaching firm. We have over a thousand offices around the world in over 80 countries. Back in 1993, Brad Sugars uh, was an accountant just out of college and he discovered that there were certain similarities with each and every business type, regardless of the business type and regardless of where they were practicing their business. It really didn't matter. United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Japan, Vietnam, it doesn't matter. The same essential steps must be followed for a successful business. The issue is, is that many business owners go into business like my wife and I did to practice dentistry. They, they want to become a cook. They want to open up a restaurant. They want to cut hair. They want to be an auto mechanic. Um, so they, they understand that component of the business, but they don't necessarily understand the business. And it's really two sides of the same coin. So that's where business coaching comes in. Simply all we do is work with business owners and help them understand their business better. Uh, my take on the whole thing is that I know you'll be successful. I can just help you get there quicker. Uh, our vision really is to create world abundance through business re-education because you're going to learn um, as you go. You're not going to stop doing business and, and, and just take business coaching classes exclusively. That's not the point. Uh, and that's not the point of a coach. A coach is that accountability partner. That coach is the person you check in with once a week, once every two weeks, and we make sure that you're, you're following your vision. Action Coach, uh, we, we coach over 15,000 businesses each and every week. And since 1993, we've coached over hundreds of thousands of businesses altogether. At Action Coach Campus, here in Eastern Iowa, we have three core beliefs. We believe that Eastern Iowa is one of the most creative and innovative places in the world to live. We also believe that Iowans are the hardest working people on the planet. We just know that to be true. And we also believe that every business owner, regardless of race, creed, background, upbringing, we don't care, should have access to the same set of business tools as every other successful business owner. And quite simply, our definition of a successful business is a commercial profitable enterprise that works without you. So my purpose today as your coach, um, it's to reward your time for, for being here with us today um, with the simplest, fastest, and easiest ways to do three things increase your sales and profits, free up your time as the business owner, and create an amazing team. So let me show you how we're gonna do that. Back in 1993, Brad, he, he discovered six essential steps. And those steps are quite simply mastery. That's the foundation, that's the very first step. And when you master the mastery stage, you eliminate the chaos in your business. More on that to come. The second stage is niche. And that's when we can put together a predictable cash flow for your business. Our third stage then is leverage. And that's when we really begin to create those efficiencies within our business. Our fourth stage is team. And that's what builds that structure for growth. Because once we have that team in place and they're working well, we hit synergy and our business begins to feel like a well-oiled machine. And lastly, the top step, results. Now you're at the point to where you are able to not go into work every day if you don't want to. You are able to maybe not go into work at all if you want to. Maybe you can just call in because on that results stage, you hired a general manager and that general manager takes care of your business properly. And now what you're able to do is you've created 
a passive income for yourself. You've also created an opportunity to duplicate your business through franchising, or your business is ripe to be sold because now an investor can come in and he can purchase uh, uh, an organization that's working and he or she does not have to be there. So let's talk just for a few minutes about mastery. When we talk about mass, mastery, we're talking about from chaos to control. What it is, it's a commercial enterprise, okay? So we understand that if we um, have a cleaning service, if we're a mechanic, the money should come in because it's a service that we're, it's, we're bringing value to the marketplace, right? But there are areas within mastery that we need to understand, okay? And these are basics, and yet many business owners don't understand the basics. And that's where Action Coach Campus can come in and help you out. All right. So the, the four areas that we talk about are is destination mastery. In other words, where are you going? Where is it you want your business to be in uh, five years from now, 10 years from now? What do you want it to look like when you're done with it? In other words, you're at that point now to where you want to sell it or you're at that point where you really want to duplicate your business. So what does it need to look like before that can happen? Okay, so that's our destination mastery. Then we talk about our money mastery. How do we read the scorecards that business owners have to be able to read and interpret and spot trends? You know, that's the, that's the P&L statement. They call that the income statement. There's a balance sheet that you have to be able to read and understand what it's telling you as well as the AR report, the accounts receivables. If you're in the business to where you provide a service and then you bill and your terms are net 30, okay, those are your accounts receivables. And we have to be able to understand and interpret that data as well. So that's our money mastery. We need to understand our time mastery, especially as business owners. We have to know how to manage our calendar, our default calendar, so that we're spending a certain number of hours every week in working on the business and not in the business. There's, that's an important distinction. We'll talk about that some more. And then delivery mastery. Whatever product or service you're bringing to the marketplace, are you doing it consistently? Every time, every day, exactly the same way. That's the thing we wanna talk about there, is delivery mastery, to develop that consistency. Next, we move up to niche, all right? So that's a predictable cash flow. So niche equals a commercial profitable enterprise, okay? And when we talk about niche, what the definition is of that is no price competition. In other words, your customers love you so much that they just keep coming back again and again and again. And even if, even if you raise your prices just a little bit every year, they will still keep coming back to you. Uh, think about the places that you like to visit that um, regardless of what it costs, you know you're gonna go. The experience is so great. Uh, the way it makes you feel inside, um, it just keeps bringing you back. Uh, people love to go to Starbucks coffee and I love to go to Starbucks coffee because I, I drink coffee all day long every day. And the thing about Starbucks is it has a particular feel to it. And especially now with COVID-19, you can't go in the store, yet the line is still a mile long through the drive through to get the coffee. And people love the feeling they get with Starbucks. Ironically, Starbucks raises their prices on three items every three months. They just keep raising their prices a little bit by a little bit. Nobody really ever notices it, and nobody really complains because they have no price competition. They are Starbucks, and you know what you're going to get consistently when you go to visit a Starbucks. So you create your niche, all right? You create that unique selling proposition. What is it that makes you unique in the marketplace? If you're a mechanic, what makes your shop different than the mechanic down the street? Is it, is it you? Is it your personality? Is it your staff? Is it uh, something that you do specifically? Is it that you stand behind every service that you do? What is that? So you combine that unique selling proposition with a guarantee, all right? Um, you, you've brought products where it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. What's your guarantee? What is it that you can do that you can stand behind 
What can you guarantee? It might just be an environment. It might just be that our guarantee is that we treat you like family, but that's your guarantee and you'll stand behind it. And how do you develop your USP? How do you develop your guarantee? There's really only one way to do it and that's test and measure. We test and measure everything. As coaches, we help our clients establish what that USP is, that, that guarantee by testing and measuring. We try something to see how it works, okay? We invest a little, we don't invest a lot because we wanna see how it works. If it's an ad campaign, we invest a little here, a little here, and a little over here. And we see which of those three vehicles are really working for us. And guess what? The one that doesn't work real well, we, we pull those funds and we go to the ones that are working for us. That's how we do it. We test and we measure everything. We test our USP. We say this is our unique selling proposition and we ask our customers, what is it? Why, why, why do you keep coming back to my store? And they tell you. And after enough of them tell you the same thing, you're like, doggone it. I, I think this might be my unique selling proposition. So when we, when we look at how to grow our business, there, there are really five ways of growing a business. Most business owners, they know how many customers they have each year. They know what their annual revenue is and they know how much profit they make after all the bills have been paid. Simple, right? And they think that's what they need to track. Those are actually results, okay? What we wanna look at is how do we get to those results? What's the formula that we use to get to those results? So plain and simple looks like this. We have our number of leads. Uh, that would be the, the prospect list, right? Uh, we, we have a list printed out and these are all of our prospects. And then we track our conversion rate. So we do some advertising, we do some marketing, uh, we talk to our friends and they're, they're all potential leads for us. And then they come into the store and they buy something. So we've converted them now to be customers. The other thing we like to track is what are the number of transactions we have each year, okay? And what is the average dollar sale? How much are they spending in our store, in our business each and every year? That gives us our revenue. That's our gross revenue. That's before the expenses come out. That's our gross revenue. And then we take out of our expenses and we look at what our profit margin is. And that gives us our total profit at the year end. So let's, let's hypothetically throw in some numbers that we can all wrap our head around. All right, let's take a look at um, 4,000 leads with a 25% conversion rate. Quick math tells us we're going to have 1,000 customers. That's right. Now let's say we have two transactions per year. So 1,000 people are coming into our store twice a year. They're spending an average of, we'll keep it simple, 100 bucks. All right, so that gives us 1,000 times two times 100 gives us $200,000. And if our profit margin, we keep that easy, 25%, our take home's $50,000, okay? So what would happen if we played a game and we just tried to increase each one of these areas that we can control, each one of these five areas, by a modest 10%. Now you would think real quick, you look at the bottom, our profit's gonna be $5,000. Hang on, let me show you how we're gonna do this. Don't forget, we're gonna compound everything. So we take our 4,000 leads, add 10%, that gives us 4,400 leads. We take our conversion rate, of 25%, 10% of that is 2.5%. So our conversion rate now becomes 27.5%. Our customers then, not 100 like you would think, but actually 1,210 because of the compounding that went on. Our number of transaction gets a little goofy, it's 2.2. Our average dollar sale, now it's $110 with a 10% increase, okay? and our revenue jumps up to $292,820. Again, our profit margin, we're able to tweak that up a little bit, so we get a little bit more profit, 10% more, that's 27.5%, which leaves us with a profit of $80,525.50. So you can see by just making moderate increases by 10%, what an impact that would have on our bottom line. We, we have at Action Coach Campus, lead strategies, conversion rate strategies, uh, number of transaction strategies, average dollar sale strategies, and, and, and ways to look at your profit margin to help you get to where you need to be by the end of the year. We work with you on your business plan. We work with you on your pro forma. 
business plan. In other words, we can take a look at 2019 and we can help you put a pro forma together for the remainder of this year, but also what, what should 2021 look like? Hopefully, knock on wood, no COVID-19 in 2021, but we'll, we'll look at that as well. Then we talk about leverage. That's our efficiency. Now we have a commercial profitable enterprise that works. How do we leverage? Let me give you an example of that. As a business owner, it's kind of like we're playing the Monopoly game, right? And we're going around and we're trying to stay out of jail or go past go um, and, and we're, we're collecting things as we go along. But nobody ever really taught us how to play Monopoly. So we, we keep going around that same, we call it a business chassis, but we keep going around that same Monopoly board year after year, but never really pick up a rule book or consult with somebody on how to strategically play the game of Monopoly so we can improve our game, okay? And what we have found out is that the more you learn, the more you earn. So every time you go around that Monopoly board, you're learning a little bit more and you're earning more. So important, okay? So that's time leverage. We're spending time on ourselves to become better business owners. We're becoming smarter in what we're doing. We're learning as we're playing the game. And each year we learn a little bit more and a little bit more until we can start to make better decisions in our business. So leverage is really about the systems that we put in place. We leverage our time for ourselves, but we also, we, we leveraged our energy and our money, okay? This is so important because what we wanna do is begin to systematize our business. Take that knowledge that you have as the business owner, all right? You, you know how to answer the phone, but you can't spend all day long answering the phone, so you have to hire a front desk person to answer that phone for you. The difference is, is that when you answer the phone, you're enthusiastic, it's your business. So you're enthusiastic, hello, how are you doing? Thanks for calling us today, how can I help you? You've gotta put that in writing. You've gotta share that enthusiasm in writing so that whoever your front desk person is, he or she knows that they need to answer that phone on the third ring, just like you do every single time. That they know exactly what to say every single time. Again, that's our consistency. So there are nine steps to systematizing our business. One is our vision statement. We need to know where you're going. You need to know where you're going. We start with the end in mind. What's that business gonna look like when you're done with it? We wanna know that. We're not just gonna go along around the monopoly board year after year and not make improvements. We, we, we are on a mission to improve our businesses. And so likely we have a mission statement, our roadmap on how to get to that vision, that, that top of the mountain mentality. We have a culture statement. These are things that we will and will not tolerate in our business. It might be that we are ethical. It might be that we're truthful. It might be that we're honest. It might be that we stand behind our guarantee. Um, whatever those culture statements are, you want to put them on paper, put them on a poster, share them with your employees, share them with your investors, and share them with your customers because these define who you are. They help you formulate your USP. What are your SMART goals? Okay, now we're really drilling down. What's your organizational chart look like? Who's in charge? Who reports to whom? As your, as your organization grows, we need to have that organization chart in place. Positional contracts. We, we help you write those, draft those, so that every employee knows exactly what it is they are expected to do. We have KPIs in place. Those are called key performance indicators. Those are our daily checklists, our weekly and monthly checklists to make sure that we're on track for our goals, key performance indicators. We have our how-to systems. How do you do this? How do you do that? If this person is sick, pick up the, the manual and now another person can do that job. If someone's out sick for months on end or something, we now know how to train our other staff members to fill in so that our consistency of delivery remains consistent. And then our management systems. What do we, what do we, how do we manage? What do we teach our managers? These are things that we also wanna have. So that's how we systematize our business. 
Action Coach. We have a, a book out there. If, if you'd like a copy, let me know. I can get one for you. Um, or I can get one here to Michelle at the Chamber of Commerce, and uh, we'll get one over to you. So our structure for growth now we're at the team level. Essentially what we do is our team gives us a commercial, profitable enterprise that works without you. Now we're getting somewhere. Now you don't have to go into work every day. Now you can take a day off and spend it with your family. Maybe take that week vacation, all right? So understand how to lead your team. This is, when we hit this stage, you are going to be spending most of your time on developing your team. And why is that? Quite simply, if you're taking care of your team, your team takes care of your customers, your customers keep returning and taking care of your business, and your business takes care of you. And it's, it's a great place to be in, and it's all connected. Does that make sense? It's, 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 uh, it's important for us as business owners to know that at this stage, we are spending most of our time taking care of our team, leading our team, showing them how to run the business. All right, now we hit that, that synergy stage. Remember, that's the well-oiled machine, okay? That's what gives you your growth, your freedom, you, your results. Your top result now is you've got your general manager in place. Your general manager is taking care of your team. You're now at the point to where you have a good, solid, passive income for years to come. You may decide that you like it so much you want to duplicate this business and open up a second, third, fourth, fifth location, all right? You may decide that my business is the best it's ever going to be right now. Everything is going great. It is that well-oiled machine. Now's the time to sell it because I want to do something completely different, all right? Richard Branson said, if you can learn to run one business successfully, then there is no reason why you can't run any number of businesses at the same time. The principles are all the same. That's exactly what Brad Sugars told us, is that these same six steps apply to every business model out there. Jim Rohn, I'm a big fan of Jim Rohn. If you've not read any books by Jim Rohn, I encourage you to pick one up. He has many books out there on business. They are simple, basic business concepts, and, and he's the best when it comes to business. Never wish your life were easier. Wish that you were better. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. That gets back to our time leverage. That gets back to working on when you play that game of Monopoly, every time you're going around the board, you are consciously learning, learning, learning something new every time. You're becoming a smarter business owner with each passing day, each week, each month, each year, you're getting smarter and smarter and smarter. And we start with the basics. We start on that mastery phase, or that mastery step at the bottom. Brad Sugars, our founder, said where you'll be in five years from now really depends upon the books that you read, the people that you associate with, and I love this, the actions that you take. In other words, it's great to read the book, but you have to apply the knowledge to your business. Tiger Woods, we all know Tiger Woods, no matter how tough you think you are, you can't do this on your own. You know, it's kind of like when we get to start playing football again, it's kind of like if the Hawkeyes uh, didn't have a coach, where would they be? Of course they have to have a coach. Uh, when we're in business, we need that accountability partner, somebody who's not our banker, not our attorney, not our CPA or accountant, but a business coach who understands the business and someone who has the experience on running businesses. And that's where I told you earlier, I have 20 years of experience running a business, but I wanted to align my efforts with a solid business coaching firm. And that's why we're with Action Coach. Again, back to Brad Sugars, words can inspire, thoughts can provoke, but only action truly brings you closer to your dreams. So here's what I'd like to do is I would like to say, if you're ready to get into action as a benefit for being a member of the Washington Chamber of Commerce, if you want to know more, give me a call or call my uh, marketing director, Bear Swenning, um, and, and contact us, and we will give you a free coaching session. It's a 30-minute session, maybe an hour session, but we will coach you for free on the areas that are, are troubling you, and, and, and you want to know some more information about your particular area of your business. Please give us a call. There's no obligation whatsoever. 
Um, if you want to think about it for a while, that's fine. Um, we'll be back again next month in August for, a, for another Lunch and Learn session. But we are, we are here for you. That's what we do. We, we help business owners exclusively. And, and uh, we want to make sure that we're able to help you all the time. So um, on behalf of all of us here at Action Coach Campus, I want to say thank you for letting us come into your, 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 your workplace today. And uh, we will see you again um, next month in August. Thank you very much.